Welcome to Property Care. Today we are going to discuss about uh, buying a plot with a loan. What is the uh, you know risks are involved and how do we uh, buy the plot with a loan? So I'm not saying that we should not invest in a plot. So we can invest in the plot, but you have to take little cautious. So later all, uh, we have to be cautious because when we take a loan uh, for a plot, so it is just a plain uh, land. So it's not generating any revenue. So there are certain risks involved in this scenario. So what are all things we have to take care when we invest in a plot? So even I invested a plot, which gave me a 2000 percentage of appreciation. So it's not that investing in a plot is bad, it is good. So we have to be, uh, you know, right approach to invest and get the return on investment. So that is the idea behind today video. So I have customers, so they're blindly buying the plot with a huge amount of loan. So how do they repay? And the appreciation is there. Of course, the plot definitely appreciates than the apartment. But, uh, you know, how long you have to wait? So any property investment, it is a long-term investment. It is not that, uh, you know, you invest it and next uh, two months, six months down the line, we get a return. So it's not like that. So over a period of time, it appreciates till the time you have to wait. So for that waiting period, you have to pay the bank EMI, you know, full amount, principal as well as the interest portion. So that is from our pocket, we are spending it. So without any return. So this is the point I'm trying to explain. So investing in a plot with a loan. So this is the scenario which I am trying to explain. And it is a good loan or a bad loan. So going a loan using other people's money is a good way of investing. But as long as you are using that in a right direction is what the question here. So I am going to explain that. Investing in a plot, it is a good loan or a bad loan. I'll explain that. And this is mainly for a plot purchase only. So you're not discussing anything about uh, outside like apartment, villa investments. I'm not linking that. It is purely on the plot development project investment. How does that cash flow works in this context? And this applies to residential, commercial, industrial, and agriculture land also. Target audience are property investors, tenants, owners, NRI, OCI, those who are interested in real estate, this will help them. And the disclaimer is the ideas I am sharing here for an information and education purpose only. So I have invested three plot development projects. Two of them I got into problem. One I got successful, which was appreciated, you know, more than the expected. So there is a plus minus are there. So we have to be a little cautious where to invest, how to invest, and due diligence. So, so you also should have uh, some proper investment strategy, planning, projection, like five years down, down the line, what is the my cash flow from this property? 10 years down the line, the projections, we have to make it before we invest and see that this gives a return on investment at the end of, uh, you know, till you sell this property. So this is the key idea in this uh, video. So why is this dangerous when we invest in a property plotted development project? It is not, if you look at from outside, it is, a, it is very good investment. It's not that I'm also saying it is a bad investment, but there are some risks we should understand and carefully invest it. So I am taking a sample story, which is Akash purchasing a plot uh, you know, for one crore with the 80 lakhs loan for one use plot with a plan of constructing and moving into his home, own home. It is a good idea. His thoughts are correct. Everything is correct. And he has some 15 lakhs or 20 lakhs in hand with the down payment. He is planning to take 80% of the property value loan and going ahead with the loan. See, this is the context I am talking. Uh, I'll just walk through this scenario. So plot value is one crore and the loan amount is 80 lakhs. So in this context, uh, so interest rate is 8% and 15 years is the loan he is taking it. And EMI he is paying 67,000 per month. 
and income from this property, any rental income, nothing. Because it's a plotted development project and there is no, uh, you know, income from this. And, uh, you know, generally people think that it is a asset. When I buy our land, it is an asset, but but it takes a long time. The EMI has to be paid, a break even has to hit. Uh, so it is a long term, it is a gain, but immediately it is a liability till you own the property. So this is the chart from the Robert Kiyosaki. He's a renowned author, investor, educator, uh, you know, personal financing expert. Like how do we invest in a property which are right strategy? See, this is one of his, um, you know, cash flow quadrant when he explained the middle class people, what the mistake they do. He just walking through this, a person going to a job and he is getting a salary income. So what generally they do is they buy a lot of cars and, uh, you know, an expensive house, you know, thinking that is they're buying the asset. But if you see in assets in the balance sheet, it goes into the liability till you pay the EMI. So mortgage payment he'll pay, car loan he'll pay, credit card debt he'll pay, and children's school school loan. So all those things are liabilities, and they pay out of that taxes, mortgage payment, EMIs, car loan payment, EMI, credit card payment, school loan. So it, it this is the cycle. If you see, they take the salary and come to uh, pay the liabilities. What are all the dues and expense that goes out of that? So if you see, eventually they are not adding the asset. So ideally we should add more assets from the asset we should generate it. So if you see rich quadrant, rich people, what they do is, you see that they built the assets. So liabilities also they take it, that's a good loan. That's a, you know, they're leveraging the other people money to earn. So assets, real estate, stocks, bond, you know, intellectual property, IP rights, uh, from that also earnings. This all comes as a rental income, dividend, interest, royalties, like that they earn the income. From asset, they generate the income. Here, if you see job is where they generate the salary. From that, he is doing it. See, this is the major difference. Why richer get richer is this is the reason. And if you see, they also have some uh, minor loans, but it is not that big deal. They'll use the other people money to get a generate revenue in the income column main focus is that so that is the idea behind his strategy so this is uh, even today it works it is nice concept so i want to just share it with viewers and investors so that they take an informed decision so in this case uh, a negative cash flow of minus sixty seven thousand. so it's adding the liability is not adding into the liability in assets so sixty seven thousand per month loan he is paying of course, the appreciation is there. And on top of that, plus the rent. See, he is staying in currently rented house, paying a rent for a living house approximately 25,000. So if you see his salary is 27, 67 plus 25, so almost uh, 92,000 he is uh, spending every month. So taking salary and goes into this and goes out of this. So it is something like a, he get a, you know, it's a trap. It is kind of a trap only. So he should not do something like this. Or he has to do, he has to invest in himself and try to understand a better way to deal such things. So I put a separate video um, putting struggling for an EMI. So what are all as a person has to be done? He has to invest himself to learn more things and try to do better. Uh, you know, learn and uh, do a better investment strategy. It's not that this way you go and uh, stuck into the loan and lifetime repayment. So we have to be a little cautious here. So this is the point I'm trying to explain. How do we overcome this? So how do we get rid of this trap? So what are all the investment strategy, which I am suggesting from my experience, I'll share it. So if you see poor people, what is the difference? See, the previous one I explained, middle class and rich. Poor people, if you see, take the job, salary, and immediately it goes out. They don't build any asset or liability. So this is the poor people, uh, you know, lifestyle strategy. So job, salary, and expense. Income and expense, that's it. 
so this is how we are from poor people you know work so we should not do like these things should learn something like a rich people like previous quadrant uh, rich people what they do add more assets column not the liabilities column so more the assets more the income assets will put money into your pocket liability will take out from your pocket so that is the difference between assets and liabilities so we have to be cautious and consistently put the asset column get filled rather than liability column Robert Kiyosaki, Cash Flow Quadrant is this book. So please read that to understand it better. So what are all the risks? In this approach, whatever the Akash in the previous, uh, you know, story where, uh, you know, Akash purchasing a plot for one crore. So what is the risks involved in this? Suppose if he is losing the job for some reason, he lost the job. Now, how do he pay the loan? So we should have a proper mitigation plan in case if we job loss, what to do? Any other alternate source of income available? And if we don't pay the EMI, his credit history will be disturbed. So we should not land up into such kind of a uh, you know situation. So we have to have a clear background uh, plan and do it and need to wait for long term see there is no cash flow in this this is just to understand see i many people they don't understand that directly jumping into investing that and they start pay after three four years they they realize that you know it is not giving that much return and i'm paying a lot of money to bank how do i exit so i've seen customers like this that is why this is an educational video to understand such things so there is no cash flow in this don't be a little cautious. That's the point that I'm trying to explain. And it is a liability till you close the loan. It is not an asset. It is an EMI trap. That's why we suggest don't go higher amount. 80% on the plot loan is slightly higher. So we should look for slightly a lesser percentage so that you don't get into the EMI trap. Nestle's banks don't fund their sites. So because this is the problem, because it's not yielding any return for that particular person. Sometimes real estate uh, people are uh, to get a profit from that, they are trying to invest. But when you look at a bank perspective, as a customer, they don't encourage these things. If you are building home, they'll give the loan. Otherwise, only for plot, they don't give it. Some private banks are, uh, you know, like India Bulls, uh, you know, DHFL. So there are other small banks they are funding for a site but these risks are involved even if you see managed farmland the agriculture land they split half acre you know 20,000 30,000 square feet plots agriculture land they sell is an agriculture land only so on such case there is no bank is funding because there is a yield from that is only the vegetables things only you can get it from that that loan amount is difficult to pay. That's why they don't fund for managed farmland. Any managed farmland investment, majority are cash purchase. Build uh, for an ROI. See, if you have a site, you have to build uh, like a house or commercial property or some industrial said whatever is there, the site, if it is an empty, you know, it won't really yield a return. So we have to build a building in that site to get a return on investment. Suppose if you have, you know, good prime property where, uh, you know, nursery, like I have seen on the main road, there is some uh, plants, they sell it. So nursery is possible if it is a prime land, people moving area, only plain land you can rent it. Or even some inside big size properties where warehouse like Amazon, you know, they just store it. The customers won't come to that place. So they only online, uh, they come and take it and dispatch it and unload it, load it. So these things also possible. Just consider this in case if you have a site, whether this can be rented out like this. So that you don't need to uh, struggle, you know, keeping a plain land with an EMI. This is just a suggestion. You can overcome to some percentage. It's not that 100% uh, it will solve the EMI problem. But even if you get small amount, I'm good to pay the EMI. No tax exemption in IT income tax. 
So this kind of an investment will not give any tax deduction in your IT return. So when you file IT return, there is no exemption is allowed for a plot purchase. You build a house, yes, it is possible. So when to invest? Or how to overcome such problems? Like whatever we have done, and how to overcome that? So this, the idea is, see, there is some people I have seen, see, they have sufficient cash flow. I, they'll say, I get a rent from another property. I am investing it. Yes, good. As long as you are ready to, okay, to wait for long term without any return and you have sufficient fund flowing from other property or other source of income. Yes, you can invest. There is no problem. I have seen, I went to abroad. I have earned money there and invested those dollars, pounds into property here. So I just directly cash purchase. I made it plotted development project. I built a house. So in that way, it is not a bad idea. So I, even if you go for a loan, nothing wrong going loan also for plot, but 80% is where slightly challenging. So you can opt for some 20 to 30% stock cap arrangement. Like you may be selling in another property in another city. So till the time you need this fund. So 20 to 30% you can take the moment you sell another property, you close this site loan. Or uh, I have done one case, like I bought a uh, two sites, I can have sufficient cash flow, and one I sold it and closed the two loans which I had it. So when I buy two sites, I had uh, two loans. So after some time appreciation, I see it. I saw that one uh, appreciated to some extent. I sold that and closed these two loans by selling one side and one side is the profit. So this is also not a bad idea. So initially I have that cash flow to pay, you know, some interest I paid it. Yes, uh, you know, way without any return. So these challenges also there. You just need to avoid that and try to invest. So 20 to 30 percent on sale value. So that is the good to take it. You take more money, that's what as long as you have sufficient cash flow, you can take it. So keep some backup plan like selling another site and close this loan so that you don't need to depend on your salary or primary income. You don't need to depend on that's where the risks more because job loss. So that risk, uh, you know, we can mitigate like this kind of uh, things like selling another site and close this loan. So that your job, whether it is there or not, it is not uh, a problem. Reinvest the sold money or excess fund you have or some PF you can withdraw and invest it. So this way, you you don't need to depend on your salary, you know. So that is main uh, thing. If you, you depend on salary, there is a risk is there. So sold property, another property. I've seen customers coming to me and they sold another property. They have a money in hand. They want to invest here. They sold in their native. They want to invest here. With some whatever shortage money, they'll arrange it. So in that way is okay. And uh, some PF fund, they have huge amount of savings. We can withdraw some money and invest here. So and plot loan can be for uh, son studies, you know, traveling abroad and studying and daughter marriage, you know, so daughter study. They can uh, invest this money. When their children itself, they should invest it. So when they grow up, and obviously the appreciation also will give some return and sell it and use that money for a study or, a, you know, marriage. Such things also can be used. So this is another way of a smart investment. Whatever the sold money, if assume that he has one crore and he can invest that money, uh, you know, mutual fund systematic investment plan because of course, this has all our market risks are there. So if you want a lower risk, FD is there. So it is a lower risk. And other ones are market linked. So market performs good, yes. If not, it will go down. So that risks are associated. But the advantage is diversify your portfolio. So you don't need to depend on only one, this side and this side. If economy down and then you have to stuck. So otherwise, what you do is you, you generate a passive income from the sold flat or a, or a plot. 
uh, wherever you sold in invest that one crore into some mutual fund systematic investment plan is there every month you can withdraw some money for the amount you deposit so if you have lump sum amount you can deposit in a uh, you know selected uh, asset and uh, that generates a uh, return systematic investment plan you can use it cf is a crowdfunding so this also real estate investment only they invest in a, a big size like tech park commercial uh, office spaces they they build it and the small investors can invest on that they give a monthly return so that you will use that money to pay the emi so that you are there also it grows and your emi problem also solved and fractional ownership this also there is another way of investment so this crowdfunding fractional ownership i put a separate video you please watch for that uh, crowdfunding video so that you will understand it better and even here in this case if uh, if investor is lower risk taker now i can't uh, you know take the risk of market going down or down and up i want a low risk which is the fd still it is not bad nbfc like a shri ram it gives a 8 8.5 9% also if it is a woman depositor so that also not a bad if you deposit 1 crore uh, you know in shri ram they credit in your account 67000 per month so you take that money and pay to the emi so your money is always there safe any time you can withdraw and this property emi purpose also solved so this is another smart way of investing try to use like this kind of smart investment so that your money working for money so you don't need to work for money so that is the investor techniques and you can leverage that technique and pay the emi consider joint investment like uh, jv i can partner it with somebody else known people should be this is main thing like uh, you know you should not land up into somewhere a problem people where you are so reliable and trusted person can jointly put fund and invest in a plot of development project so whatever margin comes you take 50 30 percentage you guys can share it so this is the approach uh, you know generally recommended for a plotted investment it is not a bad investment it's very good just you should you need to be little careful before you invest in such projects so this is our vision mission what we do and our values and property management and real estate services and we are doing currently in south bangalore and we are planning to expand it through the franchises and sas product development is going on we will be releasing that soon this is our service catalog what are all we do and where we contribute our uh, you know effort and team so these things are there any self explanatory any questions you please uh, discuss with us we'll help you to understand and this is a book i am writing mainly for traveling guys who want to invest here in india and uh, build the real estate portfolio so what are all things they need to do that is the idea i capturing here i'll be releasing this soon. and we have some business consultant uh, you know requirements uh, you know franchisee business consultants and social media marketers i ticket closers manpower consultants and full stack developers app development so we have this requirements any and we are looking for a business partner who will be working with us or with a partner and whatever value they deliver will be paying for that so it is a based on the pay as you go model and value delivery so so if anybody interested please connect with us we can work together and uh, thank you for watching i i hope this gives some good idea about how to invest in a plot development project and if you like this video please give thumbs up subscribe and click the bell icon and share with with friends and families those who are planning to invest and so that they'll be very cautious before investing such plot development project thank you for watching thank you